Alright, we are here at GalaxyCon 2024. It's the opening Friday of the event with Dino Stan... Dino Stamatopoulos. I don't know why I can't say it now, but Dino Stamatopoulos. It's Dino Stamatopoulos. Stam <laughs> Stam Stam <laughs> now you got me. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Well, Dino Stamatopoulos yeah. is probably best known as Starburns from Community, Alex Osborne. Uh, which one of my all-time favorite shows. So I got to ask, first of all, how's this event been for you guys? And then I got to talk to you about community stuff. It's, it's great. It's like, I love, uh, we got a great shot of everyone here. We'll, we'll get a shot of everyone over there. Look, look at that. There's everyone. Yeah. Um, we uh, usually, you know, when you're you're at these booths, all you're looking at is another booth. Mm -hmm. This is great. <laughs> you're not face-to-face uh, -face with somebody uh, the entire time staring awkwardly, yeah, right? Not, you don't have to look at, uh, you know, Captain Kirk all day. <laughs> yeah, William Shatner's way down there. Yeah. Uh, you got some people over here. So, first of all, community. Love the show. I rewatched it. Like, right when COVID started, I binged it again, and I just, I'd forgotten how much I loved it. How did your involvement with it start? Because you were a producer, you were a writer, you were a creator, and, of course, you had an acting role in it, too. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I was just friends with Dan Harmon. <laughs> that was it. At the end of story. <laughs> Well, so how did he go about incorporating? Like, did you guys have a process where you're trying to figure out a character for you to play? No, Starburns or? was a character that uh, he came up with very early on, mm -hmm. and everyone was always laughing about him. He was actually based on, he saw some, like, reality show where a guy just had, like, this crazy facial hair, <laughs> and everyone kept talking about it, and he'd get mad about everyone talking about his <laughs> facial hair, which he thought that was a hilarious bit, which is, it is, you know. So they took that one joke and put me as the character. <laughs> now, I, now I became the world's most famous prop. Well, yeah, you came up with, you got the uh, Star Shake Star, but you got the top hat. Was the top hat from what Dan was seeing, or did you guys come up with that yourself? No, no, I, I think Dan might have added the top hat, yeah. or maybe one of the other writers. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But well, the, the lizard, actually, I did have a, a bearded dragon. I didn't have it on my shoulder all the time. <laughs> you should. I got it, it for my great. daughter, you know. <laughs> Well, so how did being here come about? How, because I know you weren't here last year, but how did they reach out to you? Um, I've been I've been coming to their cons for uh, for a long time. Uh, Mike Roder had a, a different con like years ago, so and I forget what that was called. Um, but because I'm a drunk, I don't remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, he just reached out to me, and I'm friends with uh, with Dana Snyder and Lisa Carrera, you know, so. We all kind of uh, do uh, do shows together here, you know. So. Well, and animation's kind of one of your big mediums. So, yeah. take me through what goes into really creating any of these projects. Well, first you got to write them. <laughs> That's what I do. Um, and uh, I, you know, like with me and animation, it doesn't have to be like a crazy idea. You know, these are crazy ideas, uh, but. You know, like Moral Oral didn't have to be animated. It could have been live action mm. or something. But I just love, I love animation. And I think it, uh, you know, like darker shows lend themselves to animation a little bit. You know, it's a little more yeah. forgiving to have a kid, you know, masturbate on camera when it's not <laughs> real, a real little kid. You know, you don't get arrested. That, that's true. That's very true. So I got to ask, with all of these projects, is there a one that you have that's a favorite? Of yours, um, you know, Moral Oral is definitely by the end. Mm -hmm. It was my favorite. Um, I think Frankenhold. If we got one more season, yeah, it would have gotten really good. Um, you know, I you know I use networks as my training ground, right. and they don't always appreciate. That. <laughs> well, and I saw yeah, I did some research for you, of course, and uh, you it's done stuff for Conan and Letterman and yeah. uh, a lot of these late night shows. You won an Emmy for the Ben Stiller show, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, what was what did that experience on like network TV teach you like early on in your career? It just taught me how to produce my own sketches, you know, mm -hmm. really. Uh, I mean, I started in Chicago. I, I had a two man act with Andy Dick mm -hmm. and we actually produced our, a lot of videos and I edited them with, you know, two VHS recorders. It was a nightmare, <laughs> but, uh, um, but that kind of like taught me a lot. And then, you know, certainly with, uh, with Conan, and the Ben Stiller show, mm -hmm. you know, it also taught me, like, you know, how to deal with production crew and a, and a huge budget. You know? Right. Yeah. And you worked with Robert Smigel. You right, worked yeah. with Tim and Eric. Yeah. And you worked with Rob Odenkirk. Louis C.K. Yeah, what what have you Brock. taken from those experiences? Like, I mean, these are like... I always like to be the dumbest guy in the room. <laughs> you know, 
you know? And uh, that's what I really took from the experience. I'm not that smart. <laughs> I'm not that funny. Well, and I know you were kind of the mind behind uh, G.I. Jeff and Abed's, I'm blanking on the title, Abed's uh, uh, Terrible um, Christmas. Is uncontrollable the, Christmas. Uncontrollable Christmas. That was I wasn't it. really, no, I mean, you know, the way it works, the, the writers come up with that. And then one person goes and writes it, mm-hmm. and then it's usually rewritten a lot by Dan. Right. You know? So what was I the did creativity the first draft. Looks like, yeah, like yeah. Developing those, like, what, what was that like? You know, taking something you know, that's live action, and you got to kind of basically transport that into another world, but keep you know, the same personalities and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. The hell is that? That uh, you know, I mean, it's it's difficult, and I uh, Dan did it way much better than I ever. Did. <laughs> yeah. Well, and how do you? Not, not that your career. Like, this feels sounds bad. Yeah, how, how do you look back on your career to this point? Um, I don't. I try Fair to look enough. forward. Fair enough. We're, we're, we're getting a, another show. I'm trying to pitch okay. called Black Hole, and it's about a dive bar in outer space. We made a few of them. Uh, Dana Snyder does this character, mm-hmm. and George Went from Cheers does this yeah, character. Yeah. Well, and I have to ask. Because uh, you, you've been doing like custom songs for people, can you give me a lyric of a song that you would write about me? About you? Well, what's yeah. your name? I forget. Adam. Adam. Yes. Adam had him, but you know what he didn't have? How to pronounce my name? <laughs> it's very true. Yeah. Tino, thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. this. Was awesome. Right. Uh, and I'm going to go back and rewatch Community now. All right, good. <laughs> I'm not.